bought this 1996 Toyota Tacoma for $3,000 and I really liked it. Had it for a month and ended up breaking the frame when I was loading this trailer with uh, firewood. Turns out that there's a factory recall and I had one month remaining on that 15 year recall. The so Toyota gave me $9,300 for this $3,000 truck. So I took that money and did the right thing. Bought a 2001 Dodge Ram 3500 with a 5.9 Cummins 6 speed transmission. Then the problem was the trailers weren't big enough. So I got a hold of a bigger trailer. There's 10,000 pounds of hickory logs. There's 10 rick of firewood. There's about 14 rick of heavy firewood. And still the trailer on occasion would have trouble with blue tires, broke axle a couple times. <clears throat> the truck never gave up on any of that stuff. It pulled it like a champ. Here's some more hickory logs. Here I am waiting for uh, some phone, firewood phone calls and the snow flies. More heavy loads. Had this truck tagged at 34,000 pounds and we regularly hit 32,000 gross combined vehicle weight. This truck is just a pulling son of a gun. Once in a while I'd run into some mud or mountains I had to climb over. Didn't quite make it. I started to notice some rust on it, so I threw a quick underbody spray paint onto it. A real cheap paint job. Um, a real cheap underbody paint. It didn't last very long. Um, I kept it on there about two years. It looked good for the first couple months, but then it started to deteriorate pretty quick. It wasn't uh, good stuff. I like the way it looked, though. Here's one of my boys in his favorite position on the roof of the truck. I was carrying a cord of uh, oak firewood. Forgot the trailer was on the back. And I jackknifed it. This is the result. Caved in the fender, dented the side of the truck. Tore up the bumper. <coughs> So I decided uh, after a while I needed to repair that and at the same time I was going to take off this low quality black stripe, repair the rust, repair any uh, other little dents and do a full repaint on the truck. Here I've got the Harbor Freight soda blaster out. I was using uh, soda. It took off the black rubberized coating without uh, completely removing the factory paint which was nice. I didn't have to start clear from bare metal. Now it would take off the factory paint if I would dwell in an area a long time, which I did in some areas around the rust. I would blow out all the rust and it would take off the paint as well. I just have to stay there longer. So I got the rust all repaired. Got the dents repaired. Got the fender repaired. Now I'm ready to shoot on some paint. This is time lapse that took me about 30 minutes to blast that area that's shown in the video. Or maybe not time lapse, it's just accelerated. It took about an hour to blast uh, down the side of the truck, all that stuff off really nice I like the soda blaster also does sandblasting with it here's the finished product got the bl lines blasted off got some repair on the front fender repair on the doors I left that on there because I'm gonna take that entire fender off and pop the dent out I did some repairs on the fin on the tailgate under the light was rusted through uh, about 10 inches worth so I sandblasted all the rust out and repaired that damage there was a dent on the driver's side where the bumper hit the tailgate gotta do some plastic welding on the back end of that fender shot the epoxy in the cover 
build primer on there. Got to repair some dings in the doors right there in the front. Here are the fenders off of the of the driver's side. I've got a soccer ball stuck in there, inflating it with the air compressor to push out the dent. Worked pretty good. I ended up blowing up the soccer ball on the fourth uh, the fourth time I was doing it. Overpressurized the soccer ball and it exploded pretty loud. Kids came running outside to see what happened. <laughs> Here we got the dent out. The new Wallace fender on. It's a fiberglass fender I bought from a company called Wallace. They make these for dualies. Fit on real nice. I was real happy with the fit. Happy with the ease of installation. Getting close to paint. I'm gonna go back with the black on the bottom, and then I'm gonna put a planning to put a graphite uh, color on the upper half. So it'll be a, a satin black on the bottom and a gloss graphite on the top. That spec D headlights. I replaced those uh, a year or so ago. Really like them a lot. They put out a lot more light than the factory ones, and I went ahead and did spec detail lights. Got a new dash in from LMC Truck. That went in pretty easy. It took about uh, four hours. I redid the headliner because it was falling down. You can get this stuff at your trim store, your auto trim store, and takes uh, three to four hours. I did mine in about three hours. If someone is less familiar with tools, they could probably take them four or five hours. Really change the look of them, feel of the interior of the truck. I like it a lot. Anyway, I'll post more when I get the thing painted. Thank you.